If you've watched me talk about motorcycles before, you'll know several things. One, I love riding them, even though I don't own one. Two, I prefer dual sport bikes and naked bikes because I learned to ride on East German two-stroke MZs. And three, that I view Zero Motorcycles as one of my favorite electric motorcycle brands. The reason for the latter one is the fact that Zero has continuously pushed the boundaries of what's possible in the electric motorcycle world. From its very early off-road offerings in motocross, and of course to today's offering, it's pushed relentlessly from year to year to improve its bikes at a rate that I personally think is unmatched by other companies in the business. And last year, its range was the best ever, with its excellent SRF proving that it could make a motorcycle fast enough and long-legged enough to tackle its rivals without having the beefcake weights that the Energica range and Harley-Davidson Livewire are known for. Today, though, it did something it has never done before. It released a fared motorcycle. This is the Zero SRS, a sport bike that looks amazing and on paper at least, seems to deliver on what the SRF gave last year. The reason for the fairing? Aerodynamic improvements. Zero says if you tuck yourself behind that fairing and the windscreen, you can get a 13% improvement in range compared to the SRF, which the SRS shares a lot of its DNA with. That said, the handlebars are also higher than the SRF and the foot pegs are lower, giving you a more upright position, which I'm guessing will make it a lot more pleasant to ride on longer distance rides. There's also some tweaking to the passenger seat, although I'm not suggesting you ride pillion long distance, as I suspect that wouldn't be as much fun as riding solo on this particular model. I should also note too that the seat is at 31 inches from its stock form, and I believe, like other zeros, that can be changed depending on rider height and preference, which is a fairly standard thing in the motorcycle world. Side note, I really wasn't a fan at all of sports bikes until I rode my friend's Honda Interceptor last year in Michigan. Thanks, Tycho. But I can see a lot of similarities between it and Zero's new SRS. Anyway, let's get to the specs. The Zero SRS is powered by the same ZF75-10 motor as the SRF. As a reminder, that makes about 82 kilowatts and 190 newton meters of torque. That gives you a 124 miles per hour electronically limited top speed, and I guess a pretty quick zero to 60 time. Zero matches this with its 14.4 kilowatt hour battery pack. And while it says you can get 13% more range when you tuck yourself in and try, it does rate this bike as having the same range as the SRF. So that's 161 miles in the city, 82 miles on the freeway, and 109 miles of mixed range. Because it shares its architecture with the SRF, you can also add the power tank and additional charging accessories. The SRS allows for different onboard charging options, which it's calling its rapid charge system, but which works on level two charging stations and so isn't really DC quick charging compatible. In its standard form, the SRS will charge from empty to 95% in four hours with the standard model, which has a three kilowatt charger on board, two hours with the premium model, which has a six kilowatt hour onboard charger. And if you opt for an additional six kilowatts of onboard rapid charging, 1.3 hours or one hour, depending on your choice of standard or premium model on which you're putting that. In terms of pricing, the Zero SRS is going on sale now with the standard model starting at 19,995 US dollars, while the premium adds an additional $2,000 on top. At the time of recording this, there's not an official price for the extra rapid charger, although I'm guessing we're going to be looking at the same $2,300 that you'd have to pay for the rapid charger on the SRF. With the US federal tax credit system now offering discounts or rather tax rebates for electric motorcycles, you can expect to knock off a little of that MSRP if you live in the US. But I'm curious to know what you think below. Is it too expensive? Are you tempted? And do you prefer the look of this over the naked street fighter that is the SRF? Let me know below. That's it. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to help us make more videos like this, please do like, comment and subscribe. Send us a couple of dollars every month through Patreon. Feed our coffee habits with Kofi or peruse our swag store and nab yourself some swag. I'll be back soon with more content for you all to enjoy. But until then, keep evolving.